So Star Wars Outlaws has officially been released on Steam. So are now all the naysayers, haters, and chuds going to get owned? Well, let's go ahead and see how it's performing. So Star Wars Outlaws was released on Steam on November 21st, 2024 with mixed reviews. And there's currently a sale going on, 25% off. And I'm pretty sure this is due to the whole Black Friday thing. So the sales going on up until December 5th. And let's see if it shows up in most plays. So these are currently the top 100 most played games on Steam. So let's see whether or not Star Wars Outlaws is here since it is a new release. And I'm assuming that Ubisoft expected it to sell well or at least help make more sales once it's officially been on Steam. So currently going down to number 80 something. 90 something 100 so if you look at the number 100 game here fallout 4 there's 19,612 players i think that's peak yeah current players right now is uh 12,663 so that is the lowest out of the 100 most played games and i do not see star wars outlaw so if you go to Steam DB, we look at most played games and we'll go to trending games and there's Star Wars Outlaws. Wait, 1,267. Is that right? Let's see. Okay. Yep. Players right now, 1,258. 24-hour peak, 2,163. Wow. Yeah, um, that is not the hit <laughs> that I think Ubisoft was hoping for. And it doesn't look like this release on Steam actually did anything to really help make more sales. If we simply go by the number of current players and for a triple A game like this, that's cost probably near the 200 million range or definitely more than 100 million. This is a continued disappointment for Ubisoft. This was supposed to be a big game for them. And, you know, with some outlets claiming it was one of the best Star Wars games ever made. Well, I think a lot of people would beg to differ and the sales kind of show up in that. And now that it is on Steam, that's pretty much it. It's now available on every single platform as far as I know, at least all the major platforms. So from this, we can see that Star Wars Outlaws is still a failure um, and it basically lost Steam once it was released on Steam. And I don't think things are gonna get any better. And Ubisoft has one more really big game coming out uh, next year, early next year. And that's gonna be the Assassin's Creed Shadows. And we'll see how that performs but if there is anything we could go by in terms of the amount of talk concerning controversy versus the actual game, which is very similar with what happened in Star Wars Outlaws, although Star Wars Outlaws was nowhere near as bad as the controversy and backlash that Assassin's Creed is going through or has been going through, then, well, I don't expect Ubisoft to do much better. And if Assassin's Creed also fails like Star Wars Outlaws does, well, Ubisoft is going to be in worse, worse conditions than they are right now. Their stock's already at a 10-year plus low. So who knows what's going to happen. And with rumors of them being bought out by potentially tension, I think if Assassin's Creed doesn't deliver a hit, then that's probably going to be the very next step uh, Ubisoft's going to be going through. And well, that pretty much is it. <laughs> Star Wars Outlaws, being on Steam, did not help. And uh, with everything that's been going on with Ubisoft, they really need a hit and they need one really bad. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other recent games that you've enjoyed, be sure to leave in the comments area below and I'll see you on another episode. Hey Geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. 
This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.